Okay, so you're going to want to get your panoramic film, the folder from Professor Thompson up in the library. Okay, so in here you're going to find panoramic duplicating film on the top, along with extra panoramic duplicating film in the boxes. And underneath is where you'll find the regular panoramic film, which is what you're going to be using. And underneath is extra panoramic film in the boxes. UCDH faculty are the only ones that should be getting into these boxes so that we can avoid exposing an entire box of film. Come along. Come in. Come in. So we're going to retrieve the cassette from the third drawer from the turning door and we're gonna load it under darkroom conditions. So, regular lights off, including safe lights off. No lights and no red lights. Ooh. So this is what it would look like if you could actually see what you're doing in the dark. You're gonna remove the film from the brown zipper folder, and inside there's gonna be a plastic holder. So you'll open that up, slide the film out, and load it into the cassette. You're going to handle it by its edges with no gloves on. It doesn't matter which way you put the film in. As you can see, it's going to label right and left for you. So just handle it by the edges, slide it in, and make sure that it's all the way in. Click, 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 and completely close it. That's it. Make sure you bring a mask, glasses, and gloves with you so that you can set up the unit. When you've got your loaded cassette, first thing to do is load that in. You're going to take it tube side to tube side. These arrows will go back towards the wall. And it's easiest if you hold on to this portion here so that it doesn't slide away from you. Make sure it slides all the way in. Okay, so make sure you put your PPE on including sanitizing your hands and then your gloves. <laughs> Ooh, they're wet. Okay. And then you can wipe the unit down. Okay, so there should be wipes here stocked for you. So you can use two of them. You want to make sure to wipe down the handles, any knobs, but especially the bite guard. And you can take it all the way out to get it completely wiped down, and the chin rest here. Now after that, you can wipe anything else down, more that you want, but definitely these. The one thing you do not want to wipe down is this area right here, these buttons. So we'll always be touching that with clean, sanitized hands. So once you've got all your PPE off, don't forget to re-sanitize before you place the barrier. So re-sanitize your hands, and then the barriers are here as well, ready to go. It works better if you just kind of pull that up for yourself, slide that on, and kind of make sure it stays. These are pretty short, so just kind of squish it so it's going to stay on there. And then you're ready for your patient. So you want to make sure that the unit is on and you adjust the height of the machine using the handle with the button. When you untake, take your hand off the button, it will stay. And then you want to adjust your KVP before you forget. So we're going to just hold it down oh, until 70 for now. And you want to make sure that you're staying tuned to your UCDH channel for any updates and changes. <laughs> okay, come on in here, Lindsay. We're going to be right here. I'm just going to check and make sure that our patient doesn't have any eyeglasses, any earrings, necklaces, any other metal jewelry, or any removable appliances. Do you have any tongue rings or anything like that? No. Okay. Now with women, sometimes you need to be real careful to check for bobby pins. She does have some bobby pins up here, but if you look, it's going to be out of the range of where the film will be, so we're all good to go. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that you're covered. We're going to take the lead vest here. Just slide that right on you there. Does that feel okay for you? Yeah. You're comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to make sure to kind of eyeball the machine, make sure that Lindsay can walk in without hitting her head up here or her chin or her face on the bike guard. 
So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit further for you. And if you want to go ahead and walk in here, I'm going to have you hang on to these handles. I'm going to raise this up. And if you can just take a step forward till you feel my feet, perfect. I'm going to have you just bite right onto that bite peg. Bite right on there. And you're going to go ahead and scoop back till you'll feel your teeth fit into a little groove. Oh, looks like you got it. Okay. Now go ahead and drop your chin onto that chin rest. Looks like I got you. You're a little taller than I thought. <laughs> that looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this so I can take a good look. So we're just going to go ahead and push the indicator lights, light button, so that we can see what we're doing. And we're going to use those just to position our patient and get her in the right position. So here you can see Lindsay. So this is the notch, the little button that does the Frankfurt plane. You can move it back and forth, so you want to move it so you can see the light all the way across your face. And you can also move it up and down. So we're going to move it back and forth in the right position. And then I'm going to place it for you. I like to turn off the lights so that I can see those lights better. But first, so we've got it across her whole face so we can see it. I'm going to position it first right on the bottom of her um, infraorbital furring, or notch right here. So right there where her notch is. And I'm going to have it come to the middle of her ear opening or the tragus. We're a little bit high. So I'm going to bring the machine down. Now, Lindsay, I'm just going to have you tuck your chin down like you're trying to look at your toes a little bit. So stay nice and tall. Perfect. So now we've got it on the bottom of her infraorbital notch and straight through the middle of the ear opening. So we want to just really get her very nice and straight. She almost looks down a little bit. I'll bring it up just a hair. Beautiful. Okay. So the mid-sagittal plane or the mid-sagittal line, we, <laughs> we want to make sure it's right down the middle of her face. So Lindsay, if you can just make sure that's still facing straight forward, that's right down the middle of your nose. Okay, that looks good. So the last thing we're going to do is the focal trough. Um, so I say find the light with your right. So all the way to your right there is where you're going to find the light. Now be careful not to put your finger over it because the light comes out right here. So put it under, find the light with your right hand, and then you're going to go right under her chin, the knob that's right under her chin, and that's how you're going to move it to get it in the right position. This knob here doesn't do anything. It used to be the head holding rods. So just find the light with your right and position it with the one that's under her chin. Okay, so I found the light with my right. You can see it right now, it's on her forehead, so I'm gonna bring it down to her mouth. Go ahead and give me a big smile with your teeth open. Great, now I'm gonna actually position the light by changing the knob under her chin. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna put it right on that maxillary canine. Real big smile again. Okay. There we go, right on the middle. Okay, so when we're working on each other, we're going to actually hold this down all the way until it goes to zero kVp because we don't want to actually irradiate each other. So it's all the way down. Now we're going to push reset, let it do its thing. It's going to get in position. Lindsay, just hold nice and tight. And now when I push ready, it's going to start getting ready. I'm going to start telling her all of the directions. Okay, go ahead and put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and swallow. Just hold real still. This is going to move all the way around your head for about 12 seconds. Here we go. And you're going to hold the button down the entire time. If you let up on it, it will stop and you have to do the entire process again. So hold it the whole time. Watch your patient. Make sure they're doing okay. It might brush by your shoulder here. Hold your head as still as possible. Great. Okay, so I'm just going to straighten this up a little bit. And Lindsay, go ahead and back just straight on out here. You can bring that little plastic with you if you can. And if you'll just throw that in the trash here for me, I will have you just sanitize. There's some hand sanitizer right there. And let me get this heavy thing off of you while you're working on that. There you go. Okay, very good. We'll get this developed and we'll um, just take you back to your seat. Thank and I'll you. be right back with you in a few minutes. Thank you. So to remove the cassette, you can either use the button that you used originally the reset button over here or you can use one up here or you can gently turn it around as long as you're careful and just make sure not to hit anything it's a little bit quicker this way and then it's easy to hold on to this and just remove that cassette right out so once we're done with that we want to go ahead and put on our PPE again and then we're going to wipe down the unit before we even leave so that in case anybody comes in while we're gone, the unit's ready to go for the next patient. 
And again, we're going to wipe down um, the bite block, the chin rest, and the handles, and anything else that you may feel needed to be um, wiped down if anybody touched anything. Now, if you notice how it just flew away right there, what when that happens is when it's turned itself off, it'll slide up to the top. So if it ever does that on you and you need to reach it again, you're going to go ahead and just turn it back on, bring it back down. Okay, and also you just want to make sure um, if the patient slobbered or anything got on the wet apron, that at this point, that's when it, we're going to wipe down the wet apron as well, especially where you saw any of that hit. Okay, so again, this is going to be in complete darkness. We're going to have the regular lights off, the safety lights off, no gloves on, and I'm going to handle the film by the edges. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to open the cassette. Sometimes it's on top. I'm going to just try to handle it right by those edges there. And make sure to feed it into the processor and keep it nice and straight the whole time so that it doesn't get bound up in there. And make sure you stay right here and wait until the whole film is completely fed into the processor so that nobody comes in, turns the lights on on you. And when it comes out, when it's all developed and comes out, you're going to take it out of the darkroom. You're going to see the blank spot on the side. You're going to write the patient's name and the date that it was taken and you're good to go. So we're done. We're just going to go ahead and close the cassette. We're going to put the empty cassette back into the drawer so that the next person can use it. So you're going to return the brown zippered folder unzipped in the library on top of the fridge.